five marks straight line graphs question. If you haven't heard of the y minus y1 formula yet, formula yet, you're missing out. You're going to want to see this video, but I will show bits and bobs with the y equals mx plus c formula as well. So let's take a look at a really difficult question. It says ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB is AC. B has those coordinates, C has those coordinates, M is the midpoint of BC. Find the equation of the line through A and M. Give your answer in the form of that. Okay, now with any coordinate geometry question, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna draw a diagram, okay? So if it's tricky, draw a picky. All right, so we could just do a standard x, y axis. We have b is at minus 1, 5, say like here, minus 1, 5, that's b. And c is at 2, 10, so say 2, 10. Where would you guys put a so that we have an isosceles triangle where a, b is a, c? Well, these aren't the... Uh, sides which are, well, this isn't equal to any other side. It doesn't say BC is equal to any other. So it must mean that the triangle looks something like this. Yes, that these are the same, and we don't really know anything about this. Okay, so I'm going to put A over here somewhere. And we have something like that. Okay. So these lengths are the same. Do we need to know the coordinates of A? I'm hoping not, because I'm not really sure yet how we would even work out what that is. Um, it's probably doable, perhaps, not sure. Actually, I don't even know if it is. Uh, I think it could be anywhere, to be fair. It could be anywhere I could have put it. Uh, but it does say M is the midpoint of BC. M. I'm going to strategically do something because I know what's going to happen now. It wants the equation of the line through A and M. Where M is the midpoint. Okay. Now, there's a property here you guys need to be familiar with. If I do a nice isosceles triangle like this so it's upright, if I draw a line straight down where this is the middle, what do you notice? 90 degrees. So this question here is just to do with perpendicular lines, okay? So this is a perpendicular lines question. Right. How do we address this then? We're going to have to work out what M is. And it looks like, yeah, we just don't even need to know what A is. In order to know what the equation of a line is, you just need to know the gradient and you need to know a singular point. I can work out that singular point by working out what M is and just finding the midpoint by finding the midpoint of BC and just working out the gradient of BC and then doing negative reciprocal. So to find M, all we do is we average these two coordinates by adding them and dividing by 2. Minus 2, uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 and then 10 plus 5 is 15 and then M is we just divide by 2. Okay, not a very nice coordinate, we're already getting fractions. Now we need the gradient. The gradient is the change in y over the change in x. Now I do not like writing y2 minus y1 because students make mistakes all the time when it involves negatives. So I'm going to give you guys a better way of doing things. Write the coordinates on top of each other. If you had to do a really long and difficult subtraction, you would use column form, right? Do the same thing here. 2, double minus 1, that's 2. Subtract, subtract, so 2 plus 1 is 3, 10 minus 5 is 5. So the gradient is the change in y, 5 divided by 3. So my perpendicular, my MP, is the negative reciprocal, negative 3 fifths. All right? Now, I'm going to show you guys the two different ways you can do this. All right? So there's the better way, the y minus y1 formula and the y equals mx plus c formula. If you want to use y equals mx plus c, we're using this gradient and this coordinate. Keep in mind, this is a non-calculator paper question. 
So using y equals mx plus c, you would say y is the gradient x plus c. Then you need to sum in the coordinates to work out your plus c. You would have 15 over 2 is minus 3 fifths times x, which is 1 half plus c. Which when you multiply these together, you're going to get 15 over 2 is minus 3 over 10 plus c. And then you're going to add that over. So c is 15 over 2 plus 3 over 10, which here you're going to have to times top and bottom by 5. Uh, so you're going to get what? 75 over 10, 3 over 10, which is 78 over 10. Oh, dearie me, which is 39 over 5. So the equation of the line is y is minus 3 fifths x plus 39 over 5. And we're not even done yet because the form they want it in is py plus qx is r, where p, q, and r are integers. These are not integers. These are rational numbers. Integers mean we need to times through by 5. So we're going to times through by 5. Get rid of those over 5s. So we get 5y is, that cancels, minus 3x. That cancels, plus 39. And then you add the 3x over, because look at the form, py plus qx. So we get 5y plus 3x equals 39. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Let me show you guys how we could do this using the y minus y1 formula, which is so much cleaner. Okay, the y minus y1 formula, which is super easy to remember, says you do y minus the y coordinate is the gradient x minus the x coordinate of any line. So in our case, we're gonna do y minus the y coordinate, which is 15 over two, is the gradient, which was minus 3 fifths, x minus the x coordinate, which was a half. The next thing we would do, this is basically the equation of the line. We don't need to work out plus c. This is the generalized form of this. This is specific to knowing the y-intercept, which is why it's a rubbish formula when you don't know the y-intercept. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply through by a number to get rid of these denominators, which is 10. So I'm going to times through by 10. Okay. Remember, this is all one term, so we only need to multiply uh, this thing by, uh, just this single number by 10. So here we get 10y minus, here, 2 goes into 10 five times. 15 times 5 is 75. Is 5 goes into 10 twice. Minus 3 times 2 is 6, so minus 6. x minus a half. Now let's expand. 10y minus 75 is minus 6x plus 3. Let's bring this here and that there. Bringing that here, we get 10y plus 6x equals 75 plus 3, which is 78. Then you just divide everything by 2. Same thing. Absolutely horrific working out. This one, clean. So clean, in fact, I could write this big. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There is a clear winner here, guys. So, yeah. You choose your own arsenal when it comes to doing these questions, but I recommend use the y minus y1 formula, which I proved, by the way, in one of my other videos. If you haven't seen already, you need to go and check it out. Um, but yeah, guys, if you learned something today, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more maths content. And if you're interested in my GCSE maths courses, link is in the description for more details. And if you're interested, join the Learn Gang Reddit page so you can submit your own questions and get feedback from the community. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.